Which is why every citizen will find a complimentary government-issued aerosol can waiting in the mailbox. Get to spraying, America! Let's heat this mother up! This has been an announcement from the President of the United States. What gives, Sam? You missed your cue! What? Oh, sorry, little buddy in chief. I'm still thinking about our last case. The internet said it was working for somebody named Roy G. Biv. Obviously a pseudonym, but for who? Or whom? We're detectives, Sam, not mind readers! Hey, maybe we should ask Hugh Bliss! Mind readers, that's it! No, that's not it. By the way, have you seen my copy of Emetics, The Handbook for Multicolored Happiness by Hugh Bliss? Colors. No. Think, Max, think. Well, I know I had it this morning. That's it. Morning. In the ancient tongue of the mud-worshipping Kapalahotek tribe of the Serengeti, our word morning means he who destroys the hypnotic rainbow man. That's the word he fears the most. So this Roy G. Biv is the one person we've met who's never said the word morning. And that means it's... It's the Commissioner. The Commissioner? I never did trust him. No, Chowderhead. It's Hugh Bliss. Never! What? Oh, no, Commissioner. I didn't mean... Look, I need you to put out an APB on Hugh Bliss. Stat! By the Greek goddess Selene in a chariot with dual overhead cams and silver fox mud flaps. We're on our way. Let's go, Max. The Commissioner said that Hugh Bliss is currently staying at his exclusive prismatology retreat, the Blister of Tranquility. Oh boy! I bet it's somewhere really cool and exotic, like a remote island in the South Pacific or Des Moines! Even farther, pal. We're going to the moon. Ah, oh, feels good to be back on the moon, doesn't it? We made good time, too. We've still got plenty of generic brand powdered orange flavored drink mix left. You always did know how not to infringe on a registered trademark, little buddy. What are we doing first, Sam? Let's locate the blister of tranquility, find out what you bliss is up to, and arrest his unprincipled magical butt. Is that a visitor center? It's a lunar lander. So is my Aunt Tilly, but they can't prove anything. Well, that's quite a rocket engine. Somebody left a footprint here in the dust. My foot's bigger! It looks cleaner from far away. Lunar Lander. Well, well. Aren't you Teddy Bear? Once upon a time, but no longer. Who are you now? I've gone back to being Harry Mole Man. Or should I say I've gone forward? Prismatology has helped me find a new me where the old one used to be. Are you still a notorious criminal? Or an obscure one, like Kevin Mitnick. No, I've repostulated my lemma since prismatology found me. It's the straight and narrow for Harry Mole Man from here on out. You seem shorter than you used to. I used to use that exoskeleton, but prismatology has taught me that size doesn't matter. Color does! Harry Mole Man will never be sensitive about being diminutive again.
or about referring to himself in the third person, apparently. Didn't you explode? Only in the spiritual sense. Prismatology helped me put Harry Mole Man back together again. Looks like it may have left out a few pieces by mistake. Well, I guess it's nice to see you again. Actually, I'm still a little sore that he tried to get you to shoot me last time we saw him. I'm channeling my saturation towards making amends for my past transgressions. Prismatology has taught me- Yeah, yeah, we get it. So what are you doing here? I monitor the visitor's center and answer people's questions. Security guard, huh? Docent! I'm a docent! What sights should we see while we're here on the moon? Have you seen the lunar lander over there? We passed by it, yes. How about the blister of tranquility? Nope. Oh, well, goodness. You should definitely see that. Which way to the blister of tranquility? Enlightenment is the only way to reach the blister of tranquility. How about we enlighten your skull a little? Would that work? The blister is through that little box right over there. Seen Hugh Bliss around here lately? To see the master, I need only search my heart. I meant see him in the traditional fashion. No, he's usually in the blister these days. See you later. We've got important sightseeing to do. Great! What's this? Looks like a bent spoon with some peanut butter on it. The power to bend and rebend spoons, stored within this completely indestructible magical talisman, was among the first mental abilities to be developed and popularized by Hugh Bliss. Big deal. I can bend spoons with my bare hands. One question. Would it work on wrenches? Hmm. Yeah, a wrench is close enough. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> ah, you made me forget where I was. Let's see. Indestructible magical talisman. Oh, yeah. The virtually indestructible display case is a triumph of modern prismatological science. Virtually indestructible? Extensive testing has been done on the case, showing it to be impervious to bullets, acid, high falls, crushing force, sonic weaponry, diamond tip drills, hurricanes, poisons, cynicism, and liquid nitrogen. Don't touch it. You might break it. Oops. It's not held down very securely. These look oddly familiar. What kind of currency do they use on the moon? Junkets. How appropriate. One moment, please. I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Just a formality. Of course. Aho! Uh -huh. What's this? I knew you were up to something. Ruining my career with the Toy Mafia wasn't enough. Now you want to cost me this job, too? It must have fallen into my pocket while I was looking at your beautiful ceiling architecture. What Mafia? Don't try that again, or I'll have to get ugly. I guess a lot of people have done it already. Yes, but I always... Hey! Oh, look, there's a slightly beat-up robotic exoskeleton in the trash. The past is only useful as fertilizer for the future. Hugh Bliss said that. Hey, Small Worlds. It's our favorite cabinet secretary and secret service man, Agent Superball. Favorite? That'd be like choosing a favorite child, Sam. I love them all! Didn't I see you last week beating the Secretary of Defense over the head with his own war agenda? Granted, it's a tough love. Greetings, newcomers. Blessed be. So let me guess. You're guarding the door to this retreat. Affirmative. I have a passion for it, sir. And Hugh Bliss believed in my door-guarding abilities when no one else would. Great story, great story. Okay, let us in. Negative. Only level red prismatologists may enter Hugh Bliss's magical paradise. What's a level red prismatologist? Because I'm pretty sure I am one. Level red is apex of prismatology, sir. You'd have to undergo spectrum analysis to determine your current level. Spectrum analysis? 
Is that where you lie perfectly still in a lead coffin while brightly colored cotton swabs are inserted into various orifices? No, sir. We gave that up in 87. It's much simpler now. Yep, we're level red. Let us in. I'm sure you're mistaken, but we'll run the spectrum analysis anyway. Take this. A unicorn? What am I supposed to do with this? Rub it, sir. Rub it, Sam. Harder. Harder. I'm sorry, sir. The unicorn says you're yellow. No one calls us yeller! Draw, partner! Level yellow is frankly rather pathetic, sir. Only level reds may enter the retreat. Regulations? Hmm. However, Hugh Bliss would like you to keep the unicorn as a token of his love. Rub it often to measure your progress towards true bliss. Oh boy, a pet unicorn! I shall call him Horny. You do that. How does that unicorn work, anyway? By magic, sir. Right. Either that, or it's just a glorified mood ring that reacts to body heat. A mood horn! You're not a believer, sir. I could never explain it to you. Forget the mood horn. Let us in. Not until you're level red, sir. You're studying this prismatology, too? Not studying. I've mastered it. You mastered prismatology by standing in front of a door? I am one with the door. We exist in the indigo wavelength of reality. The door is an illusion. This prismatology nonsense really works for you? That's right. Happiest I've ever been. Hugh Bliss is great. I'm sorry. I'm gushing. President Max requires an audience with Hugh Bliss. I can't let just anyone into the retreat. Orders? Well... As your president, here's your new order. Move it! I'm now a citizen of bliss, sir. I can't let you in. What about loyalty to your president? Let us in. Hugh Bliss showed me the folly of independent nations. Plus, the benefits are better. Full medical and dental. So long, Super Bowl. Hold it. Hello, Super Bowl. So long, Super Bowl. Picnickers, please do not use craters for waste disposal. Whoops! I don't want to kill Horny. Where are we headed now, Sam? Terra Firma. What color is your favorite dream? Page 24. Here's an oldie but a goodie. How many licks does it take to get to the center of your true bliss? Page 325. Emetics by Hugh Bliss. Read it today. I always suspected Hubert would run off one day. His wanderlust was too great. Hello, Wanda. Sell. Sell. I didn't know you had a stockbroker. That's the Sunflower Scout troop I'm sponsoring. Little loafers don't appreciate the gravity of cookie season. The virtual reality goggles we used to destroy the internet. Now all those poor bloggers have to stand on street corners telling passing strangers what TV shows they like to watch. Anybody home? Guess not.
Hey, Bosk. Oh, dear God. Didn't I tell you boys not to track mud in the store? I just vacuumed. Hey, lady, we're looking for Bosco. You know him? Of course. It, 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 he's my son. You're your own mother? Is there no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes? Guys, it's me, Bosco. But who in their right mind would dress up as their own mother? No one. Good point. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Just for that, I'm not going to tell you why I dressed up as her. Oh, come on, Bosco. We were only... You just cost yourself dessert, mister. We want to buy something. Did you finish all your chores? Yes. Okay, you can get one thing. One. What do you got? Oh, my little angel made the most precious device. It's called an earthquake maker. And it's just what you think. A diarrhea-inducing cocktail? Max, why can't you be more like your brother? He's not my brother. Sam, I don't want you hanging around with him. He's a bad influence. That he is, Mama Bosco. That he is. Knowing you, Bosco, I'm sure it's quite reasonable, but how much for this earthquake maker? A hundred trillion dollars. A hundred trillion?! <laughs> you crazy, fool! Look, man, all I know is I keep making up the most ridiculous price I can think of, and you keep paying it. So I ask you, who's the crazy one? Well, with a sales pitch like that, how can we not buy it? Remember, no earthquakes in the house. One earthquake maker, barkeep. That'll be a hundred trillion, please. <clears throat> if you keep making that face, it's gonna stay that way. But my face is always like this. See what I mean? Never mind. You know, Bosco, we've collected some pretty valuable merchandise on our travels. And we have the sneaking suspicion you've got a little extra spending money. So how'd you like to buy something from us for a change? Okay. Do you have any... copies of the uncensored 1982 Armand Asante lookalike contest on Betamax? Nope. Oh well. That's the only thing I really need, honey. See you later, Bosco's mom. Go clean your office. It's a pigsty. Hey, Bosco. How many times have I told you? I'm Bosco's mom. See you later, Bosco's mom. Okay, now go outside and play. Hey, Bosco, want to rub my unicorn? <gasps> Hi, Jimmy. Up to no good as usual, I see. Back off, Fuzz. Get your own meter. I think we already did. The city made us pay for that one when we bent it. What do you mean we, White Rabbit? Hey, Jimmy. Wanna touch my unicorn? Beat it! No, just touch it. Bam! Sunday at the Terror Dome. Big Spanky Devlin makes a death-defying leap over 12 flaming school buses filled with robotic sharks. He beat your record, Max. Yeah, but he uses a motorcycle. Lefties is empty again. Except for the lingering stench, of course. Hiya, Sybil. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. But we prefer to be addressed by our official title. Is Sybil hearing the voices again? The people! The people! Are you feeling all right, Sybil? You bet we are! We just got the best job ever! We are the Queen of Canada! I always thought Rush was the Queen of Canada. Queen of Canada? 
How'd you land that gig? Did you find half of an old locket dripping with syrup and bacon grease, hinting at a long-forgotten lineage? Nothing that interesting, we're afraid. We answered a classified ad. Yeah, the Canadians are practical that way. They've been looking for a figurehead to give the country a little bit more class. They said we were the perfect candidate. You're not even Canadian, are you? Heck no. But we took two quarters of French in college, and we spell color with a U. If not knowing how to spell is enough to become royalty, I could become President of the United States! You are President of the United States, Max. By God, you're right, Sam! How come I'm not bombing anything right now? Plus, we were the only candidate. Need any help with your monarchy? We could be freelance Mounties! Thanks for the offer, guys, but we've got things under control for now. You're helping a lot just by not making any of the obvious Canada jokes. Who would make obvious jokes, eh? Yes, yeah, Sybil. That's just not what we're about. If you're Queen of Canada, how come you're still down here in the States? Are you kidding? It's freezing up there. We love our country, but we've got to draw the line somewhere. What kind of stuff does the Queen of Canada do, anyway? It's mostly promotional. We throw out the first puck in hockey games, that kind of thing. This afternoon, we've got to go pose for money. Sam, how come I don't get to pose for- We already talked about this, Max. Your gruesome head frightens shopkeepers and plays havoc with ATMs. Our most important job is to look for ways to spruce up the country. How can you possibly spruce up Canada? It's a paradise year-round, from the fresh air and great seafood of British Columbia to the bustling metropolises in Ontario and Quebec. You still have that endorsement with the tourism board? Every little bit helps make ends meet, Max, with the rate you go through new shoes. I didn't complain when you were teething, Sam. Have you come up with any brilliant ideas for improving Canada? Nothing solid yet. We've thought of a new slogan. Canada. It's surprisingly pleasant. But we need something bigger. Something to really put us on the map. See you later, Your Majesty. You may go. Nothing special. It's locked. Hey, Sybil. Want to rub my unicorn? We have people who do that sort of thing for us now. Shanks monkey party tonight. They were gonna vote somebody out of the monkey house. It's for the good of the planet. And besides, you had Colonel Mudshanks exiled for treason, remember? Whee! Maybe after the case. I know one way to get horny hot. Success! His little horn's nice and red. Wow! I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist!
no siree. Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice. Let us in. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. We never stoop. We're posture freaks. Enjoy the retreat, brothers. Sam! Sam! There he is! It's Hugh Bliss! Hi! I'm Hugh Bliss! Hi, Hugh Bliss! I so hope you're enjoying my blister of tranquility! You're all making such great progress unlocking the secrets of prismatology, and I couldn't be more delighted. Neither could I! Cool it, Max. You're scaring me more than usual. I have splendid news! My top secret plan to hypnotize the entire world is nearly complete! <laughs> Soon, everyone on Earth will become one of us. None shall escape. It'll be fabulous. <laughs> You're a good man. Bravo, bravo. Outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding. Outstanding. You're awesome. How cool it takes you. This guy really knows how to work a room. Keep up the great work, everyone. I'm tickled pink. <laughs> An entire planet of prismatologists! It's like a dream! The kind of dream where you wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. That's right! The best kind! P.S. Please don't come into my inner sanctum. Thank you! Mr. Spatula, so this is where you've been. We were worried sick. Couldn't you at least have left a note? Yeah, uh, sorry, Sam. He sent us an email. <laughs> I meant to tell you. Look, Max, it's the giant stone head of your old opponent, Abraham Lincoln. Welcome, brethren, to the blister of... Oh, it's you two. Not so tough without your fancy giant robot body, are you? I can still bite off your fluffy little... Uh, I mean... Let me help you, brother, to overcome the orange of confrontation and bathe in the yellow of peace and brotherhood. Bathe in the yellow? Just what kind of camp is this? Is prismatology teaching you anything? I'm working to master the miraculous power of gastrokinesis. You can teleport Cuban dictators? Well, yes, but now I'm working on gastrokinesis. The ability to make anyone throw up with my mind. Max and I are always looking for new ways to make people throw up. Teach us. Please. As it is now, I can make people vomit with every part of my body except my mind. Well, if you are a true prismatologist, I suppose I'm obliged to help you. But there's a problem. I accidentally swallowed the gastrokinesis talisman. Sam, is that ironic or sarcastic? It's pretty damned inconvenient. Can't you make yourself throw up the gastrokinesis talisman? I haven't thrown up since 1863, right after I gave the Gettysburg Address. I was kind of nervous that day. I didn't have anything prepared. You're not still bitter about the election, are you? Or your public humiliation? Or the cruise missile that blew your body to tiny wig bits? Election? Heck no. Being president is for chumps. Only a grade A sociopathic masochist would want that thankless job. Grade A? <laughs> I'm flattered. Why the long marble face? Because you two made me lose something more valuable than an election. My one chance at true love. This is all happening so fast. I don't know what to say. Not you, moron. I'm talking about that radiant vision of beauty you had interrupt my family value speech. You mean Sybil? Is that her name? Sybil? 
It's like a chorus of angels. Aren't you married? What about Mary, your mannish but devoted wife? Why don't you find a nice giant statue of her? Settle down and start cranking out little bouncing baby war memorials. There are none left. Lady Bird Johnson had all graven images of former first ladies destroyed during the Great Enlightenment of 1963. We can give you Sybil's phone number so you can set up a date. I haven't dated in over 150 years. I wouldn't know what to say. Phone, Max. Hello. If you'd like to make a love connection, press or say hell yeah now. Just follow my lead, Mr. Lincoln. Hello? Civil pandemic speaking. Uh, hi. It's Abraham Lincoln. Oh, you've got some nerve calling after how you treated me. Wait, don't hang up. I said, I said, I said. Just relax, baby. Think positive, and Lincoln gonna make it all better. Hmm. Well, I do believe in proper relaxation. Maybe you have changed. What are you trying to go against change? Lady, you a stone cold fox. Seriously? Well, all right. Damn! Oh, well, you're pretty foxy yourself. And I happen to love foxes. All right, maybe I'll give you another chance. If we go out on a date, what do you want to do? I can't wait so much. I figure we watch a hockey game, have a couple of beers, get some poutine. You know, the usual. Oh, Abe. I never knew you had such a deep appreciation for my culture. It all sounds wonderful. Come over as soon as you can. Was that... Did he actually say yes? Hello! You just totally scored! Thank you! Congratulations, Mr. Lincoln! Oh my gosh, what if she wants to get serious? I can't do this! I'm so nervous, I've got butterflies! I have to ask, where? Stand back, Max. Wherever they are, I have a feeling they're coming back up. Oh, I don't feel so good. What if she... And I can't... Oh, man. And here I thought our trip to the moon was going to be boring. Max, be a sport and pick that up for me. Not a chance. Hey, Lincoln, can I take this? I'm not sure why you'd want to use the power of prismatology to make people throw up, but go ahead. I've got more important things to worry about. <coughs> That's certainly an important looking door. I wonder what's behind it. Something really secret or something really ugly, I'm guessing. Or a really ugly secret. One can only hope. Looks pretty intimidating. True, but only in an inanimate object kind of way. Look, Max, it's our obsolete computer pals, the cops. They don't sound very happy to see us. You destroyed Reality 2.0. Destroy! Remember your bliss. Adopt a more positive attitude now. Is Prismatology teaching you anything? That one's my favorite. It sounds like he's always cursing. That is because he is. We're learning the most powerful skill of them all. The power to see within ourselves to become the best we can be. How does one go about seeing within oneself? Use of magical quanta required for bootstrap procedure. Come again? Four machines must learn to look within their leaden shells to find the answers within. One fabulous magical talisman makes it all possible. This week only. Could we borrow your magical talisman? Never! We're all powerful! We're 
sorry, that power is currently in use. We're working hard to create an unbeatable AI. We apologize for any inconvenience. What are you computers doing here on the moon? Frismatology has restored our sense of purpose. After you destroyed Reality 2.0, we banded together to make a newer, even better game. Coming soon. It will rock your world! You came to a private retreat on the moon to work on something as insubstantial as a video game? Not just any game. We are creating the most advanced AI in history. In a world where two forces battle for domination of a war-torn landscape, only one will draw the line and reign supreme. Do you get to shoot stuff? It's not a good game until you get to shoot stuff! Thank you for your feedback. We will incorporate shooting into version 2.0. Okay, Max and I'll try out this video game of yours. Prepare to suffer extreme humiliation! The year is 2048. In a post-apocalyptic galaxy run by giant corporations, you are a cybernetically enhanced space marine with no memory of his past. Are you the chosen one foretold by prophecy? Do you have the strength to survive? Tick! Tick! Doom! Fear me! Get out of this move! I will destroy you! Vengeance is mine! You cannot defeat me! Actually, I just kinda did. Yeah, Roar. By your calculations, your chances of winning were 1 in 10 trillion. The sun was in my eyes! Thank you for playing Tic Tac Doom. We'll continue to look within ourselves and improve our award-winning AI to make it even more challenging. It was too short, and not hard enough! I want my money back! Please try again later. I'm beginning to think we already know everyone on the moon. How are you, Mr. Featherly? Oh, for heaven's sake! My name is not Featherly. It's Philo Pennyworth. Featherly is the name of my former television character. Have you no ability to distinguish between fantasy and reality? Well... What's so important about that, anyway? How's Midtown Cowboys doing these days? You mean you don't even know? The show was cancelled almost immediately after your first and only appearance. All that flap over the tabloid photos of you two with that alien brought the censors down on us. That was no alien. It was Hugh Bliss! The show was ruined, and my career along with it. Did you know Max is president now? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. How did you happen to get into prismatology? You don't seem like the type. It's an excellent networking opportunity for an actor. Yes, this place appears to be littered with Hollywood luminaries. Ordinarily it is. I believe there's a party at Kevin Bacon's home this evening, so naturally everyone is there. How come you're not at Kevin Bacon's place? I'd rather not talk about it. No matter. While I am here, I am learning new skills to broaden my appeal in the entertainment industry. Like what? Use your eyes, man! You're a little snarky for a prismatologist, aren't you? There are many shades on the rainbow. What's with the hat? I'm pursuing new opportunities in the entertainment field. What are you, pulling rabbits out of it? Rats! Or at least I'm trying to. Drat. I gather the rat out of the hat trick isn't going so well? The principles involved are quite simple. I could even teach them to adult like you. Now hold on a minute. But I'm having trouble getting the rat all the way out. It appears to be stuck. How long has the rat been stuck in the hat? You misunderstand. The rat is not actually in the hat. It's stuck somewhere else. The hat is acting as a dimensional portal to wherever the rat happens to be. Wow. Is it magic or science? Is there really any difference? Would you teach me how to pull a rat out of a hat? Prismatology instructs us to share. But I've simply got to perform the trick successfully myself first. 
I can't have you scooping me. No, I guess not. Catch you later, Featherly. Pennyworth! My name is Pennyworth! I'm not particularly interested in seeing the contents of his stomach. This must go all the way down to the center of the moon. What's down there? Looks like nougat. Nope. Nuh-uh. I'm not particularly interested in seeing the contents of his stomach. It's pretty skanky. I think I'll just leave it alone forever. I'm not particularly interested in seeing the contents of his stomach. I think that's a satellite. Hey, Max, is that our bug? Hey, Max, is that our bug? He still got it. Thank you. You're a prismatologist, too? Yes, I am. I'm so happy I could puke rainbows. Rainbows! Uh, we'll just keep our distance, then. I'm not particularly interested in seeing the contents of his stomach. Hey, cops. Could we borrow your magical talisman? Never! We are all powerful! We're sorry that power is currently in use. We're working hard to create an unbeatable AI. We apologize for any inconvenience. We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated! Do you have the strength to survive? Tick, tack, doom! Death to infidels! Vengeance is mine! You will fail! Infidels! You are destroyed! Oh darn, you beat me fair and square. Good game. 
I totally beat you guys! Our journey of personal awareness is now complete. We have mastered the most advanced artificial intelligence ever created. You suck so bad, LOL! Let me try, Sam. I know I can take him. As super sophisticated AI entity... Brother, speak so that the primitive Earthlings may understand. Of course. We smart, you dumb. No more need look within self. Hey, can we take this? Congratulations! You've won free tickets to self-awareness. Cool! Effects are limited to those of Plumius composition. What did he say? The amazing ability to see through lead may be inappropriate for some viewers. Huh. Need. Hmm. One moment, please. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, colorful. They really should work on securing this thing better. Here, Max, hold this. I meant in your hands, but whatever. One moment, please. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> hey, it's that display case. Thanks, little pal. Aw, oh, I was saving that! For what? It's complicated, but it has to do with my personal vendetta against a certain major coffee house chain. Got it. Sam? I think the controls don't work how they're supposed to. Oh, boy! It looks like that rocket melted the virtually indestructible case right off the indestructible magic spoon-bending talisman. Did the peanut butter on the spoon survive? Sorry, little pal. Where are we headed now, Sam? Earth.
I don't think it works on people, except maybe if they're shaped like spoons. Nothing happened. Hmm, nothing happened. Hmm, nothing happened. That was kind of fun. Hmm, nothing happened. Hey, Leonard, how's it going? <laughs> hey, looks like your paperwork finally came through. It's the deed to the United States, and it's still moist. Would you care to make a small real estate acquisition for your country, Your Majesty? Fifty states, all for one low price. Hmm, not a bad idea. We could use the storage space. How does $300 sound? It sounds pretty cheap for the largest economy in the world. We're not cheap, we're frugal. And that's a lot to spend on something that contains Alabama. Yeah, it's a fixer-upper, granted. Say, Bosco, how would you like your very own United States? What's the blue book value on that? I don't know. Then cash preferred. Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice. How's it going? Silence! I believe I have finally mastered this pinnacle of prestidigitation, the legendary Rat from the Hat! Hey! Oh, I just remembered. I can't stand rats. They're vile vermin. Smile when you say that, Beaky. Beaky? Sheesh. I hate this pulling out of the hat business. Next time, I'll find something better to hang on to. 
Oh dear, no. There won't be a next time. I shall never do this trick again. In fact, I would appreciate it if you would be so good as to remove the hat from my presence. Sure. Need. That was cool, but I hope it didn't hurt the bowling ball. There he is! The jig's up, you bliss. We've come a long way for this, my friend, so buckle up, because the freelance police are taking you downtown. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. He is. You're just in time for the show! Please, no flash photography. <laughs> People of Earth! Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss! And now, so are you! <laughs> What have you done? Oh, just enlisted a few billion followers. Touch me, and you'll have quite a happy, angry mob on your hands. Not if we... Reverse the effects of the hypno-beam? I don't think so. For in all the universe, there's only one force chaotic and destructive enough to stop me now. But you wouldn't do that, would you, Max? Who, oh, oh. me? <laughs> well, I'm... <laughs> I'm flattered, but... No, you wouldn't. Because I'm going to... Drum roll, please. Separate your bliss! Really? What does that even mean? It means I chop off every part of you I don't like. It's like circumcision, but <laughs> double the laughs. Hey! Wait, what? Here we go! Goodbye, murderous hand! <gasps> Goodbye, gluttonous stomach! Goodbye, slothful tail. Ow! And with those naughty body parts, your vices are purged from your soul. Bye-bye. Thanks for the hand, jerkbag! I'm gonna use it to shoot you all! <laughs> oh boy, a stomach! Just what I always wanted. Now come here and let me eat you. <laughs> Great, a tail. Hmm. I just want to lie in front of a TV till I die in a pool of my own slobber. Congratulations, Max. I just beat the living vice out of you. <laughs> I'm pure bliss. <laughs> Go away, rotten Maxes. I don't like you. Shoo shoo, shoo shoo. Go away. Now nothing can stop me. I win! Okay, bye now. Oh, yes, my children. Let me soak in your happiness. Oh, yes, mmm, more. Oh, yes, so good. Oh, oh my, so happy. Max, are you okay? Help me grab that ponytailed freak show and reverse the effects of the beam. But Sam, I love that ponytailed freak show. I want to have his love child. No! Max, I swear to you, I'll get your vices back or kill us both trying. I love you too. I can see the retreat from here. Apparently, Mr. Mind Reader has to keep tabs on his followers the old-fashioned way. What? Nothing. Hmm. Nothing happened. Don't worry, people of Earth. I'm working as hard as I can to break the spell and make you all miserable again. Hmm. Nothing happened. Someone around here's got an incurable case of narcissism. What? Nothing. Unfortunately, they appear to be quite indestructible. Hey! Nah. 
No way. Nothing doing. I think we found one of your doppelgangers, little pal. We're all doppelgangers under the skin, Sam. sudden I feel a nearly irrepressible desire to shoot at anything that moves. That's the spirit. Not me, knucklehead. Look, Max, it's another one of you. He made it twenty feet from the box before collapsing under the weight of his own laziness. Ennui is one of the five fundamental forces. <sighs> no TV? Why even go on? You should all just lie on your faces and wait for death. It's true. I got nothing. I'm a failure. <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears. This guy's the death of the party. Hey, Pseudo-Max. How's it going? Mm. I need your tail for my little buddy here. How about handing it over? Nah. Uh. Uh. Hmm, he's heavier than he looks. Aren't we all? Hey! Nuh-uh. I don't think it works on people, except maybe if they're shaped like spoons. Hmm, nothing happened. I'm not particularly interested in seeing the contents of his stomach. Better not. Hi, Harry. The blue rabbit's right. I can't keep a job. My feet stink. Why do I even go on? <laughs> Come now, Harry. Give us a little smile. Leave me alone. <laughs> Where are we headed now, Sam? Earth.
Somewhere a cloth car is missing a bumper. What's up, A.L.? How's the date going? Oh, thank goodness you two have come. Why, hello, Mr. Lincoln. You're looking quite distinguished today. What's wrong with him? He hasn't been himself lately. Whatever. You've got to help me with this date. Sybil, are you okay? Hugh Bliss shot some kind of weird energy beam all over the planet. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Oh, no! And I'm perfectly happy, Sam. Oh, and hello, Brother Max. Tangerine Dreams and Aqua wishes to you this day. Why, thank you, Sybil. You're looking especially lovely today. This is horrific. You've got to snap out of it. Snap out of what, friend Sam? For the first time in my life, I've got a perfect job, a rock-solid relationship, and an incomparable feeling of peace. I've never been so content in all my life! Don't worry, we'll fix that. This prismatology business is all a lie. Is pure happiness a lie? Is peace on Earth a hopeless dream? Are unicorns imaginary? Mostly, probably, and it depends on how far you live from a facility that processes nuclear waste. Have you had any new ideas for improving Canada? With this new feeling of peace and tranquility, I feel like my mind is alive with possibilities! I only wish there was some way to extend this feeling of goodwill and generosity to all countries of the world. I always suspected that when the world turned nice and pleasant, Canada would be the first to fall. How are things going with you and Mr. Lincoln? Wonderful. Isn't that right, Abraham? P P pretty lady. He has such a way with words. Quite the smooth talker. It sounds like Mr. Look at me, I wrote the Gettysburg Address isn't as good with words as he led us to believe. Oh, he'll be fine once he's managed to stop hyperventilating. <laughs> Meh. Uh, mama. Are you two planning on having kids someday? <laughs> so long, Sybil. The honeymoon's already over? What's the problem? She's really into me. See there, Abraham? All it took was a little bit of courage. No, I mean really into me. She's so... Nice. It's giving me the creeps. I thought you'd be used to blissed out people after spending so much time at the moon retreat. Sure, when you're around a bunch of other single guys, that's one thing. But this... What do I do if she wants to get intimate? I'm not cut out for this. There, there, Abraham. That's just the yellow of your cowardice speaking. Yeah, seriously, how long is he going to be like this? I'm working on it. How did you avoid getting hit by Hugh Bliss's mind-altering happiness, Ray? I missed the great blissification? Damn it! I knew I shouldn't have stopped by the gift shop on the way down here. You look like you're in a shopping mood. Might you be interested in, say, the United States? Oh, how lovely! We can call it Lower Saskatchewan! What a perfectly delightful name! Yeah, yeah, all right. How much are you willing to spend? Oh, such a grand country deserves a grand price. We simply refuse to buy it for less than one hundred trillion dollars. It's only fair. We wouldn't hear of it. That's far too much. I'll handle this, Mr. President. If you insist, Your Highness. Is cash all right? We've been dying to use the new Canadian trillion dollar notes. Is that a picture of Celine Dion? She's a national treasure.
More, more juice, more nachos! Holy heaping helpings of high fructose corn syrup. He's eating everything in sight. Bosco, do not freak out. Atta boy, eat up so you'll grow big and strong. What is the world coming to? Bosco, pass the knobs! Aisle four. Oh, oh my, that one does have an appetite. At the rate he's going, his stomach won't even fit back inside you. I've no need for my earthly stomach any longer, Sam. I'm on Hugh Bliss's cleansing fast of lemon, water, and sunshine. As God is my witness, by the end of this day, you will be eating Coco Nougat Butterballs again. We want to buy something. Goody! Here you go, Bosco. One hundred trillion in completely non-counterfeit bills. Hmm. Let me look at that. Celine Dion? Okay, looks good to me. Here's your earthquake maker! A remote control? Don't get me wrong, I love TV as much as the next guy, but... It controls my satellite defense system. Only one button still works, though. Just press it for an earthquake. And this adheres, I hope, to all reasonable safety guidelines? Who knows? Oh, one more thing. You have to be in range of the satellite for it to work. All right, where'd you park it? For some reason, I was suspicious of those blessed people on the moon, so I left it up there. How silly of me. Gotta use it on the moon. Check. Thank you, and goodbye, Brother Bosco. Excuse me, Mr. Vice Manifestation. <laughs> you look delicious. Look, pal, I need your stomach so I can put my buddy back together. Hand it over and only one of us gets hurt. I can't resist the rich, meaty taste of dog and rabbit! Well, here we are in your stomach. What the hell did I just step in? I'm enjoying the womb-like meditative quality of the pyloric sphincter. Darn it. Well, I've still got my magic doohickey. Something tells me I'm gonna be smelling that for the rest of my life. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Mmm, something smells good. Hey, are you gonna eat that? Well, I suppose I could share. Ah, oh. <laughs> done! Next time I'm hanging on tighter. Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice. Let's see if I can get any reception for this thing here. Well... Shame on you, Sam. Someone could have been hurt. I miss you, little pal. I'm afraid I'm going to be needing your tail so I can put my little buddy back together in a Frankenstein-like fashion. Whatever. Sam, what are you doing? You may not want to watch this. Gee, all of a sudden I feel like watching TV and eating orange marshmallow peanuts instead of doing anything constructive. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. Where are we headed now, Sam? Earth. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey! Here, Max. Come and get it. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Samini. Hey, let go! What's this I see? Is that my stomach? Give me that hat! Ooh. Hey, I feel all warm inside. Like my belly's a sort of cozy place where flavored popcorn and sugar drinks can meet and mingle. That's my boy. So, how you feeling, little buddy? I've learned something today, Sam. What's that? Celebrities deserve our hatred just as much as anyone, if not more so! Max, it's you! Now let's go find Hugh! I want to separate his bliss! And hey, maybe save the world in the process. If we have time. Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice. I just hope this thing doesn't sing. Hurry, little buddy! Get him! Hi! I'm Hugh Blit- Stop saying that! Huh? Yeah! Uh-oh. You little idiot! You've ruined my hypno-beam! I should have killed you earlier, but what can I say? I'm too nice. That said, die, bunny! Wrong. What the? What the? Hi, we're you, Liz. We are a spacefaring colony of sentient bacteria. A sentence I really did not expect to hear today. <laughs> We cannot be harmed by bullets. We only need one thing. To feed. You see, we feed on the endorphins produced by humans experiencing trueness. So, you don't care if people are happy at all. You just want to eat till you drop. Yes. Hey, I hear that. But you want us to starve. And for that, you will die. <gasps> In the most fantastic display of the years you've ever witnessed! Hey, gotta look good for the cameras. What cameras? Pack your bags, Sam, cause you just won an all-expense paid trip to your grave! <gasps> and you get to watch him die. <sighs> Let the magic begin. Ladies and gentlemen, for my first trick I give you, the Rainbow Wheel of Death! <sighs> Yay! Oh, death! Ah! Whoa! Also known as Emetics, the ride! Oh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> exactly! Throw some daggers! No, hatchets! Hey! Sorry, I got excited. I've got a better idea. I'll just torture him mercilessly until he begs me to shoot him with his own gun! Ah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Now's no time for a chat. I don't think that's gonna work again. He's impervious to gastrokinesis. <laughs> Evil sticker! I think it only works on things with stomachs.
I'm beginning to think you met the internet while lurking on all dot spoon dot fetish. I bet Willie Mays never caught one while spinning on a wheel of death. <laughs> what? So that's how magicians switch places with people. By magic. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have left that lying around. Way to go, Sam! You did it! Thanks, little buddy. Frankly, I wish it had been a little more challenging. Kind of a letdown. Uh, but... excuse me? Huh? I think you're forgetting something. You forget something? Me? No, I don't know. Trivia! Oh, yeah. My magic eight ball told me to bring my antibacterial soap today. Why didn't I listen? Next up, the number one magic trick at every prismatology dojo party. It's time to separate your glass! No, not that. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. Until the saw hits you, then you'll die! Gruesome! I love it! Saw <laughs> 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 us, Sam! We dare you! What are you doing? Just seeing what this saw can do. You dirty mutt! I'm gonna shove that saw up your- <gasps> Come on, this is a family show. I wouldn't swear. I'll just kill him some other way! Yes, kids, it's your and my favorite! The cleansing bath of annihilation! <laughs> the Lunar Lander. I mean, the ticket to oblivion. Hey, you bliss, separate this. <laughs> Come on down, Max. You just won the grand prize. A drink of our villain. Hey, Hugh Bliss. See you on the other side. Well, I can't wait to see the souvenir you keep from this case. And with my next number one, I shall give birth to the cult of diuretics. Which reminds me, we've got to go knock out Wizard again. And everyone else on Earth, for that matter. Oh, yeah. Hey, have you seen my boxing glove? I can't find it anywhere. This it? <gasps> I was saving it for a surprise. You're the best friend I ever had, Sam. And you're mine, little buddy. Now, let's go save the world. <laughs> 